Drake has officially dropped his diss track towards Kendrick Lamar called Push Ups on DSPs. It's up on Spotify, Apple Music, and anywhere else that you guys want to access your music. And what's crazy about this is that Kendrick's on the clock at the moment. The pressure's on him. It was already on him once the leak ended up happening, but now Drake is here and he's here to play. So if you guys want to stay up to date with everything, Kendrick Lamar, Drake, anything that has to go on with this this battle, guys, we got you covered. So smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And guys, get this video up to 5,000 likes if you guys can. Every single time we do a like count goal, you guys absolutely rip it. But Lou, let's get into this. What an interesting Friday. I mean, listen, I did didn't expect to see it today but man am i happy with it man i can't i can't believe that we actually finally got it because i've been bumping the song as a leak and now that it's officially released we could really enjoy it as we should and what's crazy is that when you go into the song you're wondering is there going to be any changes that we heard from the original leak and there isn't really any changes it's the same song that we heard from the second leak that was surfaced but we do have an artwork now. And it's interesting because on that artwork, you have Drake poking fun at Kendrick Lamar. He puts up this international shoe size guide. And he's, again, playing into the line about how you big step in with a seven size man's on by putting, you know, the size seven. And what's crazy is that if you look close enough, it reminds me of an album cover. Of an album cover. Go back to 2013, brother. Push a T. Absolutely. My name is my name. That is crazy. I actually, I, I didn't make that connection until you told me. And then I'm like, yeah, absolutely. So, so what, what maybe do you, what a little. Do you think that could mean? Hey, no, nothing. I don't think it means anything. I think it's just a bit of an Easter egg. But regardless, though, I really like the way that this is packaged. And to be quite honest with you guys, this is in an attempt to be able to have Kendrick Lamar drop his diss track. Because right after this dropped, Kendrick Lamar, um, you know, didn't obviously respond. I mean, it's only been a couple of hours and we still don't have a diss track from him yet. But Drake got on his IG story and said, out on all platforms, like, you know, the shoes that you need. And then he said, let's get it, bro. So basically saying... Drop the diss track. I'm here. I'm ready. And that's been kind of the case this entire week. Drake's been on his IG story poking fun at Anthony Soleil, poking fun at Kendrick, talking about how these guys are probably ducking because they don't have anything in the tuck right now. So take us through a couple of the IG story, IG comments that you've been seeing from Drake. So yeah, I think the big question was, why does Drake do this now? Why didn't he do it earlier? And I think the reason why he put it out on DSPs now is maybe because he's had to get the, the sample cleared because there is the same sample that Biggie used on What's Beef. So that's a possibility. Or maybe he never wanted to release it, but now he's at a breaking point where it's like, well, I'm going to leave them with no more excuses. Let me put it out so that they can't say anything else. Because DJ Head, who is um, a big Kendrick Lamar affiliate, was saying how like, you know, Drake hasn't even taken ownership of the song yet. So it's like, he does he really want the smoke? So again, sort of making excuses for Kendrick not releasing yet. But what's interesting is that, yes, Drake is sort of taking the internet trolling standpoint, but he has every right to because he, he rapped. You know what I mean? It's like, if you're just going to stick to IG antics, that's one thing. But if you're going to rap and drop music and then accompany that, it's all in good entertainment. Absolutely. And what he's been doing is instigating Kendrick and his team to drop this response track um, throughout the whole last week. So um, he posted Instagram stories featuring Anthony Soleil, like you were mentioning. Um, and the first one had turtle emojis referencing that Kendrick's taking a long time to drop it. And he wrote, wonder if today is the day. The second IG story, again, of Anthony Soleil, this time of him holding these OVO bags. And he said, are we getting in our bag or not? So I feel like this is just a chess move. I don't think Drake is chasing streams here. I don't think he wants a number one song with his diss track like he maybe attempted to do with Back to Back. I think the play here is really let me give this guy no excuses left but to respond to me. Absolutely. Right? And I think that it's a great chess move at this point because like you said, now it really puts Kendrick Lamar on the clock just like Drake had to be on the clock. And that's what I want to say though is that regardless of Kendrick Lamar being on the clock, he could take his time with it just like Drake did. I mean, Drake dropped the I mean technically drop now but I'll count the leak maybe as the official drop time because that was confirmed by Drake to be his you know three weeks maybe, it was three weeks more or less so he took three weeks to drop it 
Kendrick Lamar could take maybe another week or two, but I think the more and more Kendrick Lamar waits, the more and more people are going to start asking questions because there was huge rumors that Kendrick Lamar had four or five diss tracks ready for Drake, and it's like, well, drop one of them. If you're ready, you're ready. You got to get into this now. And not only that, but Drake responded to the can of worms that you opened. Yep. You can't open up this can of worms and then after that, wait like a year to be able to drop it. Because I think that at the end of the day, you got to see what's going on and you have to be able to engage in the battle. And that's why I think there is a bit more pressure on Kendrick Lamar to drop at a quicker rate than Drake because Kendrick is the one who wanted all the smoke. He's the one that called the fight. He's the one that wanted all of this to go down. And when you go back on like that, he's sort of pressing Drake with some urgency with bars like, let's get it, bro, or let's get it up. It's time for him to prove a problem. Like, he's really going at Drake and saying, like, I've been ready. Where are you at? And now that Drake is coming with that same energy, he's matching it with this latest song and with all of these Instagram stories, I feel like people are expecting Kendrick to have something in the tuck. Absolutely. So speaking about the tuck, there's been rumors surfacing online, and Joe Budden was speaking about this on a recent podcast, that apparently the lyrical heads are going to like this next diss track, and apparently it's very lyrically dense. By apparently, Kendrick? Uh, apparently, yes. Apparently, like that's what it's probably going to be like. That's what I was seeing from a Joe Budden clip that surfaced online. Um, but I wanted to have this conversation with you. So let's actually get into what Kendrick has in the tuck, right? We have no idea at this point, but I want to play a bit of speculation with you just for the fandom sake. If Kendrick Lamar releases a diss track that's super lyrical heavy, you know, let's think about maybe a DNA type of energy, right? Very aggressive, you know, very braggadocious, very in your face. Do you think that's the right chess move? Because think about this, right? Drake just dropped this diss track and it's inviting him. It's like, come, let's do this, right? And Drake obviously knows that Kendrick Lamar is an incredible lyricist. He said himself. He knows that he's an incredible rapper. So do you think that's the right move for Kendrick Lamar where it's like, okay, let's just keep this at hip-hop? Or does he have to have something that's like, I'm not saying story of Adidon level, but something that's going to really taint the armor and going to be like, well, fuck you. You know, you wanted me to drop, and now I'm here and I'm dropping. Well, what's interesting is that for now, Drake has kept it hip-hop for the most part, except for the Whitney line. But Drake is letting us know, even with those last couple of lines in that song, there's more I know, don't make the demon come out, right? And he repeats that. So I think that he's sort of letting Kendrick know, like, this could get bloody if you want to take it there. And I feel like fans don't want to see a lyrical exercise. Fans want to see one of them decapitate the other. They want to see a Mike Tyson knockout. And to you, sort of like a Kill Bill analogy, just because, you know, Uma Thurman has sort of like been a presence within this beef she offered her bride suit to to drake after he put up the story of reenacting the bride versus like 20 people coming at her with swords to use an analogy from that movie i don't know if you remember the scene where it's the bride versus the character gogo -Go, and the character gogo -Go oh, yes. is holding Sixteen. she's holding the meteor hammer right yes yes she is the reason why she lost that fight is that she was more focused on showing off her skills then she wasn't finishing the job. And I feel like that's where Kendrick could lose his battle if he focuses on just trying to outwrap him with a lyrical exercise rather than actually trying to go for his head. I so mean, it's got to get personal, don't, don't you think? Absolutely. I'm not saying I want that, but do you feel like... I think we're in that boat now at this point yeah. because even at that, Drake's been in this situation before, right? Like, do you think Drake's not looking at that 2018 beef and like, I'm not dropping duppies anymore. Yes. I don't care how well I rapped on that. You know, and you could argue that Duppy Freestyle was a fantastic track just by the rapping performance, right? Like, people absolutely love it for that fact. But once you got the story of Adidon, who gave a fuck? Yes. Like, it was over there, and Drake said it. It was a fantastic chess move. So do you really think Drake's going to make that same mistake again? I don't know. But what's interesting is that... It's kind of like a mind fuck, right? Because Drake is putting Kendrick in that seat now. He's like, what do you want to do? You let me know. Mm -hmm. You let me know. You want to come out? I am here. I am ready for you. So that makes me believe automatically that he has something in the tuck. There's obviously something waiting, right? And oh, oh, that's what I think might happen. Yeah, and I think that, like, you know, you could obviously question, okay, maybe is this an empty threat? Is this a scare tactic to get Kendrick not to drop? But, I mean, it might be a case of, like, who has a bigger gotcha moment on the other, right? Like, that's what it might come down to. And I feel like that's what's interesting about this is that, like, sure, you could say that Kendrick would be the front runner if it was just about who could outbar who, but it's looking like it might not get to that point. It might not get to that point. Because even at that, like, 
Drake is very public with his life and he's kind of exposed everything, right? And there's all kinds of things circulating online. I could go through a whole fucking Rolodex of different things yeah. just that Drake has been pinned on, right? And Kendrick could take his pick and he could continue to do it. The only thing is, is that if you bring that into a diss track, that's not a gotcha one. People have been knowing about that. So there has to be something where it's like, whoa, the world kind of like stops. Everyone turns their head and it's like, what the fuck just happened? So yeah. that's what I want to say. I think it's maybe going into that direction at this point because at a certain point, there's only going to be so many lyrical, miracle, schmiracle fucking bars that you could go through before the fan bases get bored and everyone's kind of like, well, what are we really doing here? You yeah. know, like Kendrick opened up this fucking can of worms because he wanted blood and now he got the smoke. So let's see how he responds with it. Yeah, it's, it's going to be super interesting. But let me ask you this. What is your prediction for when you think Kendrick's going to respond? Oh, my goodness. That's such a great question. I think it has to be probably within the next week or so. I think within the next week or so we see it. If I'm being so honest. So one week? Is that your guess next yeah, Friday? Yeah, because I think at the end of the day, right, Drake is taunting him and he's going to continue to do it. You're going to have DJ Academics that's going to post his timer online every single day. You know, fucking 14 days without a Kendrick <laughs> Lamar. It's actually kind of funny. You know, I salute him for it. But regardless, though, you know, you look at what Drake has done. It's a chess move, man. It's a fucking chess move. And everyone's kind of like, well... I didn't expect this. And and Lou and I have been telling you for the longest time. I don't know why everyone fucking counted him out since the beginning. Like th This is war. Like you, you don't count someone out because then after that, the quietest person in the room could possibly end the biggest person in the room. And everyone was looking at Kendrick and was saying, oh, because, you know, of the control verses and how aggressive he is, you know, of the song concepts, he's just going to absolutely destroy him. He must have this. He must have that. This is Kendrick's first time battling. Drake has we'll see, that's what I'm been trying to part see, of the rodeo like, before. You, absolutely. And you see this in sports all the time, especially with new hot teams, let's say, entering the playoffs, right? You find that one team that has the experience, that's gone through it, and it doesn't always go as planned just because experience is absolutely everything. And I know that he took the L in 2018, but that might have been Moki, his biggest W to this day, just because of what it might do for this outcome right here. But again... This is this is Kendrick Lamar we're talking about. Yes, so I yes. would be a fucking fool to say that I don't think he is gonna come with some serious shots oh, on this for next sure track. He will. And I, we'll see I, what I, I think it's gonna be um a brutal battle. I think that it's gonna be a battle that maybe lasts multiple rounds. That's what I, that's what I'm hoping for. At the end of the day, I feel like the best case scenario is that we do have a case where, you know, the focus is on the battle and Yes, personal shit is probably getting in the middle of it, but I like the fact that the focus in hip hop again is on the who, who's the best rapper. Yeah, and who's the competitiveness is. Yeah, you need absolutely. This. So you absolutely my prediction this. to give you my thoughts, I think that we get this in a few days. I don't think wow. it, I don't think it takes a week. You don't think it I, takes I think Kendrick answers. Today is what Friday, Monday, Monday the twenty second. And if you're watching this video after um, the twenty second passes, let me know if I was right or wrong. That, that's what I think is going to happen. Yeah, well, I don't I th think it takes too long. Fuck, you guys are probably going to be watching another video of Lou was right on this. That's what I'm going to say. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a very interesting time for hip-hop. And you guys are not going to want to miss a single video from NFR. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. And turn on the notification bell to keep up with every single upload. Thank you so much for watching this. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.